Hello everybody, this is Dreamer back for a Dinosaur King video. I finally made one. And in this session we got something interesting planned. We're going to take on the Space Pirates with Alpha Dinosaurs. Right, in this, well in this session we're going to use the Alpha Gang Trio to take on the Space Pirates Trio. This will be a three part little mini series. In the next session, we're going to take on the Space Pirates with Seth. And then we're going to take on Spectre with Rod and Laura. And, well, actually, no, okay, I like, it's a four part series. <laughs> Ooh, don't know why it lagged there. We're going to take on Spectre. No, not Spectre, Goma with Dr. Z. Ooh, why are you lagging? Come on, computer, put yourself together. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry about the light. I'm not sure why we're lagging. But yeah, here's our dino out for Gorgi. Alright, hopefully it stopped. Um, I forgot what they do. Okay, they do that, apparently. I don't really like Gorgosaurus' design. Alpha Gorgosaurus, except for the yellow. It does look a little bit off. Oh, we can hit him again. Yeah, take this sunshine. Well, it's that customary time of year again where I get questions about when my next tournament is going to happen. And I do have an answer for you. My next tournament will probably take place around March time. So a little bit later than the previous few years. Ooh, sign of Now, I say, I say that only because... I am having my room done in the new year, and that's going to take up a lot of my time and such, so I, for that reason I won't be able to record at a consistent basis, which is what you really need to do if you want to do a tournament. In fact, to be honest, I haven't been, I haven't been be able to do much consistent recording lately, it's been awful. But hopefully we'll have a nice little uh, upswell before Christmas, treat all my beautiful viewers. After all, we're almost at 2,000 subscribers, and that's awesome! And I got a nice treat to offer all of you. Hmm. They go for the same move, don't they? Yeah, okay, okay. I, I'm getting my uh, mojo back, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. So the next two dinosaurs I plan to use, which I'm sure you'll know by the thumbnail, is Alpha Wookasaurus with Ed and Alpha Aranosaurus with Ursula. Oh, we got a Chasmosaurus. Oh, you got a lightning move. My latest addition in uh, Evolution 2. Hmm, I may have done some spoilers there. I haven't posted the video yet. Right, he knows I'm going to beat his crit, so I'm going to go... Oh, we got Dino Stuffer! Little bugger using alpha moves! That's cheating! I disapprove of that behaviour! Okay, that was rock, wasn't it? Yeah, another crit! Come on, give us a firebomb! You know what's funny is that I have a connection to these alpha dinosaurs, like the weaker ones. I always like put really cool move sets on them when I was like, oh, they like, oh, I really enjoy it. In fact, they were like one of my favorite dinos to use. I love them. And well, the move set I'm using here for Gorgosaurus is actually pretty much identical to the move set I used back in the day. I had Firebomb. I had. Uh, I don't think I had. I can't remember what I had. Now. I definitely had Firebomb. I think I did have Tybomb. And I can't remember for the life of me what my rock move was. I think it might have been Diving Pass. You know, I didn't have all the move cards back in the day. <laughs> oh, it might have been Diving Pass. I can't remember now. But yeah, I always used to make Gorgosaurus a tie specialist because, you know, that's what this alpha dinosaur was. It was tie tie. Although I think this one's poison type. So it's like based the dinosaur's moveset on what battle type they were. 
So I like like the uh, Alpha Ignosaurus, which is attack type. I gave it like attacking moves. Uh, let's go rock. Yeah, right now, modding for Evolution 2 is just crazy right now. Based on the recent breakthrough we had with rig editing, it's just been absolutely mental. And we just had the new DLC not long ago as well. So Evolution 2 is going crazy. Right, here comes the big boy. Here comes your cousin. It's Gaigas. Oh, sorry. Box of fire moves. And a lot of firepower. But my Gorgosaurus is ferocious. Its formidable appearance gives it a... I forgot the... I forgot his description. That one. The one that's on screen right now. <laughs> its ferocious looking features give it a formidable appearance. I think that's it. Okay, pop a comment down below. Do you prefer the original Gorgosaurus or the Alpha Gorgosaurus? For me, I actually prefer the original, if I'm honest. And I say that because Gorgosaurus in any media is blue. It's just a blue dinosaur. In the Walking with Dinosaurs movie, it was blue. In that buddy book I read when I was a kid, it was blue. It's, it's just predominantly a blue dinosaur. Like, no other dinosaur can say they are as blue as Gorgosaurus. Not one. Right. Let's move on to our second alpha dinosaur. Oh, we're going up against Shea this time. Hopefully we'll, go, we'll, do, uh, we'll definitely go up against Fool's Cap after we're, after we're done here. Alright, let's get this bet. Oh, Lillian Stunas. I believe a Jurassic Carnival. From Germany. Oh, it's Deutsch. It's a Deutschland. Ding, ding, ding. And yes, here's our dinosaur. We're using Alpha Woohoo Swords. Kind of a uh, plain design, to be honest. You can see the slight circle on the body and that, but yeah, other than that, not much to shout about, I'm afraid. Very different moveset than what I used back in the day. I think my moveset for this guy was defense boost, recovery, and... No, light recovery and earth barrier. But this time, we've got earthquake, giga rock hammer, and the ACT missile. We're going all out attack. Oh, 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 this is going to do a damage. It's an earthquake. Badoosh. Oh, bless it. Look at it. It just, it just can't get out. Oh, come on. <laughs> I didn't mean kill it. Tight, even though I know I could have hit with a crit. Oh, it's Samuel Tyrannus again. Probably the same moveset as before. Oh, it's good to be back, isn't it? I hope you haven't uh, missed like, me too much, Dinosaur King fan. I know there's like no hope of having a revamp of this franchise. But hey, never say never. We've seen it before with other franchises that we think are dead, and then all of a sudden, out of the blue, they just come out of nowhere. You never know. Oh no, we don't have the rocket. Sorry, I'm done. We got this move instead. The one with the uh, soup with the Super Saiyan Alpha Droid eats the dinosaur with di with a Dino Swing, but it's not Dino Swing; it's Droid Swing. Oh, we got Raji, Raj the Madge, like the worst iteration of Rajasaurus I've ever seen in any any dinosaur mabob ever. It doesn't even look like a Rajasaurus. If I showed you a picture of this and said it was Rajasaurus, would you believe me? Like, the head is wrong. 
The arms are just wrong. It's just wrong, man. What have they done to you? They done Rajasaurus so dirty in this game. You know what else is coming back? Grudge matches. Remember those videos I used to do? Where you put a vote in the community tab and then you vote for which dinosaur you want to win? That's going to be coming back. And in fact, Rajasaurus is going to be featuring in it. Uh, yeah. Karate! <laughs> it sounds like you're saying karate, doesn't it? Get this abomination of a Rajasaurus out of here. Okay, we got Delta Dromias. The Delta Runner. The dinosaur that dislikes fountains, apparently. And the one that punted the car like 50 miles in the air. <laughs> oh, who, remember, who remembers that? Where you just like tail eats one of those cars like out of existence. Cause yeah, like a Delta Dromius would do that. <laughs> I'd imagine that a lot of these dinosaurs would look very different if they were paleo accurate. Like not the colours or anything like that, but the actual models. Like, would Woohoosaurus look like that? Would Delta the Dromius look the way it does? I mean, we don't have much knowledge on Delta Dromius. Oh, nice, the Giga Rock happened. Gonna smash this Delta Dromius into the floor. Oh, he's a Maximus. Now we have type advantage here, which is very good news. Maximus. Ah, oh, damn it, was a tie. Oh, no, that's not good. That's not good. Good thing this Buosaurus has type advantage and his defense type as well. Still did a decent amount of damage, though, to his credit. Uh, oh, good, good. Okay, good. We're back on track, back on track. Whoosh. Um, paper. Oh no, that's not good. Damn it! It's gonna go. It's gonna go rock. Please don't die. Ah, no! <laughs> oh dear, that didn't go to plan. <laughs> well, let's see if uh, Ursula has any better luck. Oh, we're taking on Sheer again. Oh, okay. I wanted Fool's Cap, but no matter. We'll take what we can. Oh, we got the Mutt. Taking on the Aranosaurus. Alpha Aranosaurus. The Valiant Lizard itself. A dinosaur that reigned Africa and would have been preyed upon by the likes of Carcharodontosaurus. Very beautiful eyes. Gotta give it. Look at the eyes on that. Oh, actually, kind of looks like Mataburosaurus, doesn't it? They say, you know, Mataburosaurus could pass for an alpha dinosaur. Now, what's interesting about my the Aranosaurus I used back in the day is that I use all the, like, bird moves. Obviously, this move didn't exist back when I was playing. Well, it did, but I didn't have access to it. So, uh, couldn't really do any... So, ah, sir, I used Skydive. I had Skydive, Metal Wing... And tiebreaker. And that was my move set. Samotaranus popping up again. Right, let's see. Ah, hey, oh, the metal wing. And we got a tubu dive to come. And well, as as tradition when I use alpha dinosaurs, I do have an alpha move. 
it might surprise you. Because it's a banana surprise. Boop. Bomb. Go on, Simo, eat your veggies. Well, eat your fruit. Oh, come on. They almost killed it. Uh, rock. And down she goes. Ugh, oh, this abomination again. <laughs> Quicker we defeat it, the better. Tutsoruga! Banana surprise! Whatush! You know, that's decent damage, given that it's not a Rhinosaurus' crit. Very impressive. Ah, oh, we didn't get the die this time. Uh, rock. And, yeah, we got him. Please don't be dead. Well, I hope he's not dealt the Dromius. Oh, it's Mapusaurus! Again, all the fire types today. Mapusaurus, one of the apex predators of South America. One of the, the dinosaur that, you know, to an extent, changed our thinking of large carnivores and our theory of pack hunting among large carnivores. Because of that one discovery in... Uh, oh, I can't remember the years. I, I'm sure it was in the 2000s or something. Where we found several Macrosaurus specimens in one area. Ranging from adults to subs. And this discovery changed our thinking on large carnivores and whether they were solitary or pack hunters. And I... Like the consensus after that discovery was that maybe these dinosaurs hunted in gangs. I mean, look, logically it makes. Oh, damn, that was not good. Logically it would make sense. Because if you hunt in a group, you increase your success rate. Therefore, you increase your chances of survival. So it's logic. Um, yes! Haha! <laughs> I knew you'd gotta try it again. So logically, it would make sense, and you have massive dinosaurs that lived with Macrosaurus as well, like Titanic, you know, the Argentinosaurus. Absolute colossuses. But, you know, we can only speculate at the end of the day. Oh. Actually, we did discover a... Uh, speaking of Argentinosaurus, I think we did find, like, a dinosaur embryo of a Titanosaur, I think. Well, well it was definitely a sauropod. I think it was a Titanosaur. And it had a horn on its head. Which is really, which is really interesting. Yeah, we got in this time. We took out Maximus. Finishing the episode on a high. Yeah, really interesting discovery. And now you, it makes you speculate. What did they need it for? And did they, you know, why did they lose it? Growing into adulthood. <laughs> well... Xander and Ursula showed Ed how it's done. And that concludes this session. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, ta-ta!